Hello and welcome. The Wirtgen engineering team would like to introduce you today to the innovative binding agent foamed bitumen. Many road construction engineers have no doubt heard about it and some have already used this binding agent. But where are the advantages? Where does it come from? How is foam bitumen produced? How and where is foam incorporated and what machines are used to do this? We intend to answer these and other questions in our film, but let's take things step by step. The source material for foamed bitumen is ordinary hot bitumen, type B60 to B200 from the refinery, just the same as that used in traditional methods for hot asphalt construction methods. This hot bitumen is brought to the mixing plant or the construction site by insulated tanker trucks. Before we move on to an actual site, we would like to show you how foamed bitumen is produced from this bitumen in the laboratory. The metamorphosis is actually very easy. Foamed bitumen is produced using bitumen and a precisely defined amount of water. But how? Well, it's a process that we are all familiar with when cooking. Take a look. Oil is boiling in this pan. Now we're going to add a few drops of water and the water evaporates explosively. Now let's take a look at the same process with bitumen and water. In the laboratory plant, cold water is injected in a controlled manner into the hot bitumen, which has a temperature of around 180 degrees. You see, the bitumen foams marvelously. The original binding agent expands up to 15 to 20 times its previous volume. This computer animation shows you what we cannot show you in reality. A view inside one of our spraying system's expansion chambers. The hot bitumen comes out of the pressure pipe via a nozzle into the expansion chamber. There, about 2% cold water and air are injected simultaneously. The bitumen foams explosively and shoots through the opening down into the mixing chamber. From the virtual world back to reality. Here you can see one of our mobile plants which we have developed for the construction materials laboratory. This installation is used to analyze the foaming behavior of the types of bitumen that are to be utilized for a specific project. By varying the bitumen temperature and adding different amounts of water and air, the expansion behavior and the half-life can be realistically determined and optimized. As a general rule, the greater the expansion and the longer the half-life, the better the quality of the foamed bitumen. The foam can be injected directly from the foaming plant into a laboratory mixer. What we have now is the mixture of all the materials to be used later in the construction phase. Test specimen are produced from well-mixed recycled material. The characteristics of this mix are determined in subsequent tests. By using the Type WLB10 lab plant and some classic lab tests, the quality of the mix to be produced for each particular construction operation can be determined in the best possible way. So, even prior to the start of the construction work, the road's subsequent characteristics can be determined. There's one important question that we haven't answered for you yet. How does this foamed bitumen actually work as a binding agent? In our example, milled material is the source material, consisting of 15% filler by mass. 4% of water are added, to achieve optimum compaction moisture and 3% of bitumen in the form of foamed bitumen are sprayed and subsequently mixed into this material in the manner already shown. As you can see, the mixed materials bind together excellently. The lab assistant is able to form this mix into a firm ball. 
A cross-section of the test specimen from this mix shows how perfectly the different components in this sample are bound together. An extremely firm bonding has been achieved, one that will last a long time. Well, it all depends on finding the right binding agent. The tensile strength test shows how strong the bond is when using foamed bitumen. The excellent properties of foamed bitumen as a binding agent have encouraged us to develop the method of construction and the machines required for this still further. So, that's enough theory. Let's have a look at the practice. At this construction site, the Wirtgen Recycler WR2500 recycles the existing road surface construction by simultaneously granulating and mixing in the foamed bitumen and water. This computer animation shows how the material is processed on the spot. The hot bitumen is foamed in 16 individual expansion chambers of the spray bar and then injected into the mixing chamber. At the same time, water is added to achieve the optimum moisture content of the prepared material mix to ensure perfect compaction density. Of course, this process can also be successfully carried out by using the Wirtgen Recycler 2200 CR. Regardless of which machine is used for this process, the recycler leaves in its trail a new, high-quality surface layer. After profiling and compaction, it is immediately ready for traffic use. But we won't spend any more time at the construction site. Let's take a look at another way of producing and using foamed bitumen. In this mobile Wirtgen mixing plant, type KMA 150, cold treated material is produced by adding foamed bitumen. Here you can see how granulated asphalt and new crushed stone aggregates are mixed together with cement and foamed bitumen. There's another interesting aspect. If no cement has been added, the foamed bitumen treated mix can be stockpiled and stored for up to a year. Even after a long period of storage, the material can be used for construction without any problem. Or as here, the foamed bitumen treated material can be transported directly to the job site. At site, a paver, in this case the Vögele Super 1800, places the material in the usual way. When the final compaction, using the required number of rolling sequences, has been carried out, the road is ready for immediate traffic use. Did I promise too much at the beginning? Foamed bitumen is really a great binding agent. The addition of a relatively small amount can produce excellent end results in terms of usage with minimum environmental impact. Furthermore, the use of foamed bitumen cuts costs and is economical. Whichever way you look at it, using this binding agent brings tremendous advantages for the user, the client and the environment. Although this technology is relatively new, in 1999 alone 5.7 million square meters of road surface worldwide were rehabilitated with the addition of foamed bitumen. And the tendency is rising. The innovative binding agent foamed bitumen has successfully proved itself in all climatic conditions and its performance has been quite impressive. We are convinced there will be a significant growth in the use of foamed bitumen for the rehabilitation of roads worldwide. Thank you very much for your attention.